What's up, fellas? So, I haven't posted an update on the uh, garage build, but we've made some significant progress. We passed our electrical rough inspection, so that was pretty cool. Um, as you can see, I got a little bit of air conditioning in the uh, garage because, you know, I work in here often. I actually have been in here until 12 o'clock every night for the past uh, couple days. So, fortunately it hasn't been too hot, but when it does get hot, you know, I'm gonna end up having a problem with the uh, heat. Anyway, as you can see, there's a significant amount of plumbing that was done. Um, we're still not done yet, but we should be by Saturday. Of course, I got the American flag up. I've got hot and cold water right there to wash my cars in the uh, in the winter if I want to. I can wash them indoors. I got speakers installed again because I'm always working in here and I love music. The other thing that I did, and I'm gonna try to reverse the camera and try to figure that out. Hold on one second. My wife and I just ran shop air with PEX. I taped it in black because I am following the waterline, ran hose bibs all over the place for the exterior, of course. But I taped it with electrical tape in black. This is where the compressor is gonna go. Got a tire machine coming. And I'm sorry, I already have the tire machine, but the balancer is gonna go there. There is enough space between the toolbox and that wall to fit the uh, two machines and compressor, I think. If the cabinet has to move over, that's not a big deal. And also, this cabinet is new. Just got it from Home Depot a few weeks ago. Actually, last week. Um, it's got outlets on power strips on both sides with USB connections. Um, also, you guys should invest in this for the dust. Yeah, I got outlets on both sides. Anyway, um, so there's a hose bib over there, hose bib over there. That's the driveway, a diesel tank, soda machine. It's kind of like uh, decorative stuff. We ran outlets everywhere. There's an outlet there, there. And there's one a little behind that cabinet as well. Yeah, so it's pretty exciting. Those are all the windows that I waited four months for, which that was fun. And now they're just sitting here because we had a delay with plumbing. And, and everything just took a little bit longer than I expected, but that's okay. We got space to store things, so. Um, I want to maybe leave the PEX and the PVC exposed. I don't know how that's gonna work, but I'm gonna try to do that. Um, this is going, this pipe here is the main waste for the bedroom upstairs. We are going to leave that exposed and paint it green like Mario Brothers. We're going to do something interesting along this wall and that wall and in the bathroom. Yeah, so if you guys have any interesting ideas or something unique for shops, you know, organization with tools and whatnot. I have a lot of tools and I don't actually have a lot of tools in that tool cabinet yet because I don't want to haphazardly put things in there. That is a bathroom. We're gonna have a barn door and a 42 inch door to get outside because my dad said to do that, so. <laughs> Not arguing. This was the cabinet that I had just to store some hardware and stuff for the guys working here. Anyway, four car garage is coming along. All the lighting is done exterior, uh, soffit lighting and stuff. But it's dark out right now, as you can see. So I uh, can't show you anything. Anyway, the shop air is going to disconnect right here. It's going to have a port somewhere over here. Um, not sure how high or low I'm going to have it, but what do you guys have as far as the height 
for your reports. Um, I'd like to get some ideas on the, where to put that along the wall. I was going to put one there as well. I still might do that and just tee off of that. You know, we ran up through, over, and then it goes that way. So, kind of want to document this for years to come. You know, if I have a question about something that is in the walls that I don't remember, you know, at least it's on video and it's here forever. Those outlets there, yeah, we're going to have some fun things going along the walls there. So, as my electrician always says, there's never enough outlets. There's never enough power. There just, there just won't be. So, try to combat that, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to run out of outlets. I will check you guys later, hopefully on another sawmill video. We'll see. Thanks.